Hello world, and welcome back to Minecraft Memoir. This is episode 54. In the last episode, we took a very long break, um, but we did get a bit of building done over by the corner tower. We also showed off that we started this railway here. Uh, in today's episode, we have a lot to do. I mentioned in the last episode that since I've been away for so long, I actually missed getting 500 and 750 subscribers. So today is the special for that, because that is a huge achievement, and we need to celebrate. Um, I was initially thinking, I've got my inventory full of resources here, uh, I was going to do some building on this railway, but that's not really celebratory enough. We might do a little bit of building here. A little bit of building. Hmm. Tongue twister. <laughs> Um, we might do some over here, but instead, I actually have a pretty good idea on how we can celebrate. Now, there was actually something pretty important I forgot to mention in the last episode. Uh, I technically did record it, but it was like four months after episode 53, kind of explaining where I'd been and what I'm about to tell you, uh, but the settings weren't quite right. And it was only like five minutes worth of video anyway, so it just didn't make much sense because I didn't record anything after that, so it would have been eight months ago, four months, and then now. So uh, I just deleted them. But unfortunately, oh, interesting. Huh. Just like a small section of rail I didn't finish. I gotta put that in. Uh, okay, <laughs> unfortunately, we actually lost our test world uh, in the process of fixing our SSD. That's a really big deal for me. I test out every build that I make, like the viaduct, the spawn tower, the corner tower here, uh, you know, even my own base. A lot of things I test out. Just, I like doing it that way. It helps me figure out what I want to do. Uh, so that was a big deal. Up until, so it was actually Test World 3, but up until that point, I had been just like daisy chaining Test World 1 to Test World 2 to Test World 3 uh, because I wanted to fix some settings. So uh, it's like officially lost. I've tried recovering it, but no dice. So as a result, I had to bite the bullet and make a new Test World. I'm on Test World 4 now, uh, and things are going pretty well actually. I managed to take this world and update it to full release 1.20, so it works in case you were wondering. Uh, and then using world edits schematics, I was able to cut out my builds and then copy paste them into the test world. So at least I have like something to go off of uh, because actually just having a new empty test world was too daunting. I couldn't build anything. So it's going well. I've actually got some good ideas going there that I didn't have in the original uh, test world. I do think, though, I still had more builds in the original one. Uh, I'm, I'm working back up to that. It's kind of hard to want to build the same things that I knew I had in the other one. However, there is one thing in particular that I did have uh, that I really miss. In episode 44, funny enough, our 100 subscriber special, uh, I showed off the test world, and in it there was a giant clove polyp coral that I built. Uh, my roommate at the time had a fish tank, and it was just like a cool thing that he had that I had to build in Minecraft. Uh, and it looked really cool, and unfortunately we lost that along with everything else. However, I did take a bunch of screenshots, and I do really want to rebuild it. Now that I know I can just update this world and then copy paste it into my test world, uh, I actually think we're going to build it in this world first, just because I think it's that cool. I want it somewhere here. Uh, I'm going to scope out a good spot for it. I think we should have it more this way. Like, wouldn't it be cool seeing it in the horizon over there? Hmm. I got to figure it out, but uh, I really want to build it. I think it would be super cool. And it wasn't a whole lot of resources. Oh, geez. Um, I think it was netherrack and brick. And then a little bit of mossy cobble. I need to review the screenshots. So it shouldn't be all that hard. Using my cartograph map printout, I scouted around for a bit to try to find a good spot for this clove polyp coral flower thing. 
Uh, it's not quite a coral, but it's not quite a flower either. It's like some weird alien life form. Uh, so I decided upon this island here. It's quite a bit further south than I initially planned. Uh, the corner tower is off in that direction. I don't know if you can even see it. I think that line right there is the bridge that I kind of built over. Uh, so definitely can't see it from here, but that's fine. Uh, I think this is a good spot for it anyway. This thing is going to be 83 blocks long, so it's going to need quite a big footprint. Uh, and right over the water will look good. It's going to be like up and kind of wide. So uh, I'm going to clear off the trees. I've placed down these torches to figure out where my center is going to be. Uh, and I'm just going to start with the like main stalk. I did check. Uh, initially, the design didn't actually have any netherrack in it. I misspoke. Uh, it does have quite a lot of brick, but now it has even more netherrack. It's got like a full double chest worth. So I'm probably going to have to go collect some of that, as well as some glowstone, because I don't think I have nearly enough. But for now, uh, I'm going to clear this off. So it's a few days later. Uh, I spent that time carting over resources. We're definitely going to need more here. Uh, I figure it's going to be just under four chests worth of stuff, or four double chests. Uh, in this one, I've got a bunch of dirt because we're going to use a lot of that. And then this is all of my other blocks. Uh, this is the correct amount of bricks, mossy cobble, and snow. And I think regular stone, too. There's surprisingly little of it. Definitely going to need more netherrack, though. And we have all of eight blocks of glowstone. Uh, I actually haven't placed any of it because I know we're going to need more, but there's a spot up there where I could have placed it. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, actually, so I cleared off the islands here. I also went pretty crazy with the torches. Uh, I died once to a zombie while I was AFK, and I did not want that to happen again. So uh, I did like the edges of those land masses and then pretty much all of the island here. Uh, you can see I also had a creeper, so got to make sure it's safe because I do not want this build getting messed up. I'm going to build it one time and one time only. Uh, maybe twice, although I'll probably just port it over like I said. So going up here. Uh, I actually built a little too much on this. I was going to stop at one point, but uh, since I built this like two days ago, uh, in the meanwhile, I was kind of talking to friends and I wanted to keep making progress. So I built a little too much. I apologize. Right here is where I'll put the glowstone in between the nether rack. Uh, and then you can see these are the eight like arms or petals, uh, like the base piece. I made them kind of tilt because otherwise they would all just be in line with each other and it doesn't really show any definition that way. So I think this looks good. They do just kind of flatten out after this point though. So, you know, you'd think that they would completely turn, but not really. Uh, this is really just like the only way I could show that these are separate things. So after this, it's going to go kind of sharply up and then slowly out uh, like a flower. You know how their petals kind of do that little scoop? So at the base here, it'll be mossy cobble, and then I'll transition into brick higher up. As the sun rises on our third day here, we have mostly finished our first arm. Uh, I noticed that in the screenshots I took, all of the branches follow pretty much the same design. Since I copy-pasted pretty much all of them because I pre-built it in World Edit, uh, they look all the same. I'm going to have to vary those up because I want this to be a bit more natural looking. They'll generally follow this kind of fade from mossy cobble to brick, uh, but I'm just going to make them a little bit different. So while I was doing this, I also put on the fence here uh, that will connect into the like, grassy little, I don't know, feather bits that come off. Uh, I figured I'd do them now because it was a pain. 
uh, so it was a bit easier while I kind of had the temporary dirt scaffolding up here. Uh, these dirt blocks represent where I'm going to put glowstone. I'm trying to decide right now whether or not I want to like finish up all the other arms here, or if I want to go to the nether to get my glowstone. Uh, I'm going to need at least, I think, 10 stacks of glowstone dust uh, to make the amount of glowstone I'll need. So I better get on it uh, sooner rather than later. This wasn't that hard to build anyway. It took like all of 10 minutes of real actual building. The reason it took three days is because I fell three separate times, uh, one of which I died. So worked out fine though. I got my items back. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a hard time. I keep re-recording this clip. This is like the 10th try. Uh, and I've fallen and died and just messed up on words. And then I finally had it. I didn't mess up at all. Went to review that clip. Couldn't hear myself because I didn't put my microphone in front of my face. <laughs> I'm just like big time struggling. Uh, but I figured I would show you. I built another branch here. Uh, this one is a diagonal. I figured I would do that. That way I can close my screenshots and just, you know, reproduce these. Uh, I actually think the diagonal is better than the straight ones. For some reason, the curve just gets across better. Uh, so now I got to do the others. You can see, though, I filled the uh, holes where the glowstone's supposed to be with dirt. It was just easier for me while building rather than, like, trying to jump over the holes like I did here. Uh, but I also realized that doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. Like, it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, so I'm going to go mine some glowstone. I calculated we need just under 10 stacks uh, because we need, like, just over a stack of glowstone blocks. So that means I need to go destroy about 10 stacks of glowstone blocks in the nether. Uh, I'm also going to get some netherrack. I don't know if I'll get all of it in this trip, but I'll get a decent amount. Actually, I got to put my stuff away first. It was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I didn't record any of it, but it took about an hour and a half. Uh, and this is what we got. So we got enough glowstone here. Uh, I'm going to need two more inventories of netherrack. So I'm going to come back. Uh, you can see I've got some TNT here. And it does the job quite well. Just picking up all my stuff for like the 20th time. I think I got everything. <laughs> I keep getting deceived by the shallow water here. Uh, since it's only one block tall, in this version that doesn't save you from a jump. So I jump down and then like, especially right here with this branch, uh, I just keep missing. <laughs> so um, we are halfway through. We have finished four branches. And you can see I've replaced all the dirt with its respective glowstone. Uh, I think they look really good. So we've got four to go. Uh, and then we've got the even harder task of putting in the dirt. As it is now, these are pretty slow going since I'm slightly changing up the design for each of them. Um, but, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that took a long time. Uh, I thought it would be like an hour, maybe two. That quickly turned into four or five. Uh, but we have since done all eight branches, and I think they look very good. Uh, they're all unique, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what took a really long time was placing these fence, because I kept having to do, like, dirt underneath. If I were smart, I would have just pre-built, like, a staircase of dirt all the way and then placed on top. Instead, I kept placing dirt, putting the fence, breaking the dirt, and repeating that, uh, which I'm sure wasted a lot of time. But I think they look good. Uh, so what we're going to do now is place some dirt. Um, I was using kind of incorrect terminology earlier, so I decided, you know, this is an educational channel. Uh, so I did some research. 
And what these are aren't actually branches. Uh, in a ooh. okay. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right. It's mocking me. Uh, so they're not actually branches, but tentacles in a clove polyp coral. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I didn't realize, but it makes sense. And the things we're going to build out of grass blocks are technically barbs. Uh, there's not actually a specification in the research I did as to what they are, but the tentacles are described as feathery, uh, and feathers have little barbs on them that make up, you know, the things that stick together so that they actually make the feather shape, you know? Uh, <laughs> so I was going to point out there's a dirt staircase that I built up uh, so I can get grass to grow all the way up. I figured I'd do that while I'm building the dirt everywhere else. That way, hopefully, uh, by the time I'm done, the grass will have grown all the way up. So I'm going to head all the way back. These trips take so long. I've gotten pretty lucky about not dying, but I have fallen a lot. I think for each of those tentacles, I fell probably four times. Uh, and, you know, there were eight of them. Do the math. <laughs> uh, I think I died for maybe six of those, now seven. All right, uh, I wanted to give a bit of a progress update here. Things are going well, surprisingly well, actually. Uh, I thought this was going to take a lot longer to build, but so far uh, I've built these two portions in about 30 minutes. Uh, however, you'll notice I've done two diagonals. Uh, the reason being, the screenshots I have are pretty good, but they're not great, uh, especially at the bottom here. So I kind of have to guess. Uh, I was able to make out one of these diagonals, so I did one, and then I just kind of copied it over, uh, and then I'm going to have to do the same for over there and there. And then these two are the same, and these two are the same. So this was actually just the easiest portion to start with. Uh, you'll notice like the weird lighting glitches. Those get fixed in the next update, just FYI. Uh, so yeah, I finished these two. Looks pretty good. I would like the grass to grow a bit faster. You can see it's actually going quite quick. Uh, for it only having been about 30 minutes. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get started with the other portions. I also want to point out, I've gotten quite lucky uh, with these little barbs not having torches on them, like near the ends here. Uh, mobs haven't spawned up here yet. I know they totally could. I've just been getting lucky. So I think my one might have spawned, like, over there. Uh, earlier, but it's gone now. So, yeah. So, I have completed four out of the eight farms here. Uh, I just finished doing this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of hard to tell apart. Uh, and it wasn't all that hard, honestly. Uh, each took about 20 minutes of actual building. The biggest killer was falling into the water. Since it's so shallow, I died pretty much any time I fell, or if I fell on the island, obviously. Uh, but we got through it. Um, so I have since started working on this one here. Uh, you can also see the grass has grown up nicely, so I'm trying to get that to grow. Uh, sometimes I need to like help it along, because it can do diagonals. Um, but, you know, like, it can't go from here to there, so I'm going to have to place a block like this. I just need to remember to come back and remove it. So I'm hoping, actually, I'm not going to need to do that once I build these four. Uh, hopefully it'll add, like, enough new blocks to bridge the gaps. I have noticed, though, it is exponentially harder building uh, these ones since I'm being covered. Uh, like, working back here is a nightmare. I have to, like, jump back. 
place blocks. I'm losing a lot of dirt. Oh, man. Ooh. Exhibit, like, 20 million. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm losing a lot of dirt blocks, though, to, like, waste. Because I have to remove them every time I place them. Uh, it's funny. I'm going to have to make a trip back here just to replace all of the minecarts I'm leaving at my house. Okay. Oh, come on. A lot of mistakes. Uh, yeah, I've <laughs> got like, I don't know, 15 minecarts at my house right now. Uh, so yeah, I think, though, I did do the fastest building method. I was thinking, like, maybe it would have been faster had I built them one at a time. Um, but that means that for every farm, I would have had something covering me uh, for the previous one. So... I think the, my method was the fastest, and the ones, uh, the other ones, the orthogonal ones to me, I suppose, 90 degrees, um, they're above the diagonals, so I think those will be easier to build. So uh, yeah, I'll give you an update when I make some progress. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was up until 4 a.m. working on these, but I managed to complete all eight arms. And here they are. I think they look so good, uh, especially with all the stuff in the background. It makes this look a lot better than it would have on the test world. Uh, so I'm glad we did it here first. Uh, the grass hasn't grown yet, but even without it, I think they look so cool. Uh, and it didn't take all that much time, to be honest. Uh, I thought it would, but that was mainly just near the base here of these going down ones. Uh, further back was easier. And then these going up ones, uh, they were much faster, like 10 minutes each. So I churned through them. I wasn't actually working on them until 4 a.m. I just happened to be up that late. Really, it was, again, I cannot stress this enough. I keep falling. Just recording this clip, no joke, I have fallen and died three times. Fallen, I think, five times. So uh, this is my nth time trying to record this. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks really good. So let me go further down. Uh, so I did kind of lie to you. I did pre-build some of this. I said I wouldn't, but I pre-built the leaves that I'm going to put on the stem here, uh, just because I didn't actually make those in the original world, or the original test world. Uh, so I wanted to see how they would look, and I also needed to figure out the block type. You can see I've got a lot of netherrack on me. So uh, the first pair will be about this height, I think. And then the second pair will be about this height, so on the other side. Uh, and that staggering will help it look good from a distance. So, yeah. I also need to build up the base of the like arms here, because they're a bit thin. Uh, so I'll, I'll put like some cobblestone stuff there, uh, and it'll match nicely with the bordering for the leaves here. Here's a better ground view. Uh, you can see I added on the extra bit of stone and cobblestone right here, like I said I would. And I think it looks a lot better like that. Uh, it kind of rounds it off, adds more definition in this spot. Uh, so I think that's good. And then I started working on this leaf. You can see I got about halfway done before I took a break. Um, it's really slow going. I don't know. It's just like regular building at this point. It shouldn't be much harder than these, but uh, it is just kind of slow. So uh, I think I should be able to do this one and the other one in the next like 45 minutes, uh, and then the other two in about an hour. So hopefully uh, this shouldn't take me much longer. Keyword hopefully. Something I just noticed that I don't think I pointed out in episode 51 is down here at the bottom, uh, it says copyright Mojang AB. Uh, in the previous version, 
Alpha 126, it said copyright Mojang specifications, and I didn't notice that change, um, but I'm pretty sure Mojang AB is what it says today. So that's a pretty important thing that I just totally glossed over. Uh, also, not really a progress update, but I wanted to point out uh, our world here is 77.77 megabytes, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Okay, nobody panic, uh, but I think I just finished. Let me look around for some holes. I don't see any. It should be pretty obvious. No, I think we're done. Oh man, okay. Very excited. Uh, I wanted to show you as soon as I was finished. It is, uh, it's like 1 a.m., uh, which isn't like super late for me. I usually stay up a bit later, but for some reason I am so tired right now. I'm kind of out of it. So uh, I wanted to make sure I finished this though, because it's, uh, I don't know, getting kind of late in the week and I want to make sure I finish this episode before that like two week window. I want to come back, you know, with a bit, a bit of pep in my step, right? So here's how it's looking. I'll show you from the ground because uh, it doesn't really do it justice from here. But I think this looks so good. I especially like the contrast with the netherrack and the grass blocks here, the red and the green, because uh, they are complementary on the color wheel. I think that's right. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it so confidently. Uh, I've noticed though, um, <laughs> The way I've constructed this, it's kind of a death trap for passive mobs. Like, while I was working on each of these leaves, uh, I saw 20, 30 passive mobs fall and die. Like, because they just walk through these holes and, you know, same way that I did, you know? Um, <laughs> so, I guess you could say it's like kind of a resource farm. Uh, a really inefficient one, but I could hang around here and just like pick up the random pork chops and leather from the ground. Uh, not the feathers, unfortunately. So, yeah, let me jump down uh, to a safe spot. Hopefully, right over here is good. And we'll jump into a boat. Uh, they didn't take me super long. By the last leaf... Oh, man, I actually haven't seen it from a distance yet. This is so good. Uh, I might need to widen it up at the base there. Okay, so maybe I'm not completely finished, um, but I'll, I'll say I'm finished for now. Uh, <laughs> by the last leaf, I finished it in about 30 minutes. Uh, the other ones were more like 45 to an hour. Um, for the last one, I really framed it out pretty well. I went through the middle. Um, this wasn't the last one. I think it was that one there, but I'll use this one for an example. I went and built the cobblestone through the middle, and then I did up the sides. Um, and it's much easier to build up than it is down, so I did from the base there up to the kind of peak, the saddle point, uh, and then I went back down here and built up. So it went by pretty fast, uh, and I think it looks really good. Let me um, fix this up. And then we will finish the episode here because it is turning nighttime. I actually might wait for it to turn day. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I mean. All right, let's get a good look from a distance here. Yeah, much better. Uh, I widened up the base like I said I would. And I think that looks so good. Oh, man. What a great build, honestly. Like, I'm sorry for the patting myself on the back, but I just think that looks so neat. I'm so glad we have it in the world here. Uh, so I wanted to point out the unlit leaves, both the under and upper sides. Uh, I didn't put a whole lot of torches on them. There's torches on, like, the ridges in the middle, but not anywhere else. There were while I was building, because, uh, as you could imagine, they took a while to build, so I was in the dark for a bit, uh, and there was a lot of mobs. So I placed torches, 
but I actually removed them for this build. Um, I think in the future I'll probably dot along the leaves with glowstone. Uh, I'll like put glowstone into the leaves, uh, and that way it'll be mob proof. But I don't have that glowstone available right now. And honestly, I would prefer it just not have torches so that it looks better visually. So, you know, if you came across it, it would just look better, right? Uh, and I'm not going to be over here a whole lot anyway. So, you know, if a mob drops on my head off of one of these leaves, I honestly deserve it at that point. Um, but you can see I did get hurt quite a bit while building that base because uh, it was at nighttime. So, yeah. Uh, I think this looks really good. Let me climb this hill, maybe give a bit of an upper view. But otherwise, um, I think this is a great way to celebrate 500 subs, you know? Reflecting on something that we lost in the last eight months while I was away, uh, but something that we also gained. 500 subs, 750 subs, and 800 subs. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, I'll pillar up for the end of the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, in the next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, probably we'll work on the corner tower and the bridgeways there. So look forward to that. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.